Good morning, boys and girls. Today, we're gonna be making our own version of George Rodriguez's Blue Dog. And this is going to be for our Square One art fundraiser that we are going to get our art printed on different keepsakes that we can either keep for ourselves or give to family. Let's go ahead and get started in learning how to draw the Blue Dog. The first thing we're gonna do is we wanna make sure that we have enough room for our blue dog's big old ears. So we're gonna start the head about three or four fingers from the top of this black line. Very lightly, I'm gonna go ahead and sketch in a curve line for the top of the head of blue dog. The next thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna put two big ears in for our blue dog. Now remember, blue dog is inspired by George Rodriguez's um, fairy tale of a Cajun werewolf, and so they have big ears, so we wanna make sure they're nice and wide, not super skinny and not super small, or it might look like a cat. Very lightly, look how I'm holding my pencil. I'm sketching my feather lines really lightly going up and I'm gonna to aim towards the corner of my paper and then I'm gonna go ahead and sketch it down. We will be erasing these super light lines at the end so make sure you're not drawing too hard or else it might be a little bit tougher for you to erase. Okay, now that we have our ears in, we're gonna go ahead and sketch two lines kind of going down. This is gonna be kind of like a fox. You can make your line zigzag or you can make them smooth, it's up to you. We wanna bring it in and we wanna leave about three or four fingers in the middle for our blue dog's snout. Now that we have our cheeks in, we're gonna go ahead and put in our snout. I'm gonna measure like two fingers down below the cheeks and all I'm gonna do is make kind of like an upside down heart and I'm gonna fill up that space I'm gonna bring my heart up about halfway on my initial oval, and then I'm gonna start to bring my lines going up and maybe do a few little zigzags at the top and back down, okay? Again, don't worry about it being perfect. We're just sketching it in lightly to start. Let's go ahead and put in a bottom lip on Blue Jog. And then also we wanna put in a nose. We don't wanna do our nose too teeny weeny. So I wanna make sure I wanna fit at least two fingers inside. And this is gonna be kind of like the shape of a rhombus or a rectangle, or it could be a circle, or it could even be a heart. Whatever shape you wanna make Blue Dog's nose, you go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and put two uh, uh, little nostrils inside. Now I'm gonna move up and about halfway on my oval, I'm gonna put Blue Dog's eyes in. George Roderick draws Blue Dog's eyes, whoopsies, with circles. And sometimes drawing two circles that are the exact same size in the exact same location can be a little tricky. Sometimes what I do is I measure with one hand, scoochie scoochie, and that's where I know my circle needs to be. I'm gonna measure, this is about how big I want my, I want my eyes to be, and then I'm gonna sketch in my circle. You could make your eyes going down or closed or up, whatever you wanna do. I'm gonna focus more on the traditional style of George Roderick. Now, <clears throat> George Roderick also has uh, his dog, his blue dog has two little uh, kind of like half circle, semi circles kind of going down and on the opposite side as well. And then while I'm here, I'm gonna add a few little zigzag eyebrows going up. Also, you might wanna add a few uh, two triangles inside of the ears. Okay. Now, what I like to do is I like to kind of go ahead and make the fur of my blue dog a little bit more scruffy. So you could either draw it first or you could erase parts of it. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a few kind of zigzag lines, not a ton, just a few, just to show that there is a little bit more texture on Blue Dog. Texture is an element of art. It means the way something looks like it feels. 
Now I don't have a ton of room for blue dog's body. It would look very weird if I tried to squeeze a body in here. So I'm just gonna take two lines about where the cheeks are in blue dog and I'm just gonna make them go slightly on a diagonal out. There we go, that is our very, very simple basic blue dog but now friends what you're going to do is you're going to find a way to make blue dog more personalized to you remember george Rodriguez says <clears throat> that blue dog is all about um, life and what you want him to be he changes it based on different things that are going on in pop culture based on his life i want you to think about if you could have your own blue dog how would you add something to blue dog to make it more personalized to you I'm gonna go ahead and turn my blue dog into, hmm, I think I'm gonna turn my blue dog into my favorite artist, Frida Kahlo. Watch this.